Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the 79th episode of That Sewing Blab. Once again, we are so happy to bring to you a wonderful show tonight. We have these two lovely ladies that are gonna be showing us their final projects, but we're gonna get to them in just a moment. Uh, for those who are new to our show, um, our lovely host over here, um, with the black on, I think that's black, <laughs> is Dawn Bengali of Dueling Designs. And I'm her co-host, Myra Rentmeester from Simple Inspiration. That lovely lady, some of you know, but those of you do who don't, we'll get to her in just a moment. Um, I just wanna let you all know who are new, if you have a question for us, just go down to the section where it says, ask a question, select that link and post your question there. If you just have general comments, you can post those comments in the, um, uh, navigation bar to the right of your screen. And um, tonight, you all know, we're actually going to have voting tonight, but that's going to be later after we view everything and we've talked to the ladies. So you, be on the lookout for that, and we'll let you know when the poll goes up. So without further ado, we're going to get this party started, and I'm going to let you guys, um, I'm going to pass it on over to Ms. Dawn. Thank you, Nicole. Yes, I thought just before we'd start, I'm not sure if everyone knows, if you look down below uh, the three, our three faces, if you're watching on Crowdcast, there's a box that says that Sewing Blabs Facebook page. Um, if you click that, it'll uh, take you there. And the reason why that's important is if you go there, if you look at our first pinned post at the top of the page and you click see more right here on the very first pinned post, it'll actually tell you who's coming on when um, I didn't tell you who's coming on the new year, although pretty fabulous people coming on, but it gives you a general show schedule. I just thought that would be kind of handy in case people are wondering who's on tonight and um, what's going on with that so you think you can sew competition and where are they up to. So if you want to, um, it's good to follow that just to get more information or if a show's canceled, for example, on October 31st, the show is canceled because we're going to, our doorbell's going to be ringing all night because it's Halloween. So I thought that could be a little distracting. I'll be like, I'll have a nervous twitch by the end of the show. <laughs> I'll be like, one minute, I'll get a good candy. <laughs> anyway, so uh, now that we've got all that housekeeping stuff out of the way. Um, yes, I have been very, 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 very excited about this. Myra and I did a practice round last month, but it is nothing like when it's the real thing. So we've yeah. had Carol Crocker Ware, who will be on uh, this evening, and as well as Melanie Wise. And Melanie's right here. She is yes. fabulous. Yes, yes she and is. Thank you. Thank you. These two are enormously talented sewists. Very much so. um, I can't say enough nice stuff about them. It, they are lovely just to come on the show because, I mean, it can be kind of you know, overwhelming being the first yes. person to do a contest and not knowing how it's going to turn out. Um, Melanie has a fabulous, it's Melanie yes. Darling, a blog, sorry. Thank and you. definitely check it out because lovely sewing things, but also just so stylish too. Yes, so you learn very, something and yes. you get inspired. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So that's, it's Melanie Darling. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But tonight, it is going to be the big reveal. I am so yes. excited. So <laughs> the ladies, we're both given the same trim in the mail at the beginning of the month. This is the trim here. Um, it's um, got black. What was the, the, what did you call them? The color it wasn't steel. It was- Pewter. Like a pewter. Yeah, almost. Yeah, it's black, but it's not, yeah with all these beads and they had to use this trim um, somewhere, <laughs> just mm -hmm. somewhere on a garment. That was the only thing. We wanted the creativity to run wild for this one. So Melanie came on last week and told us, you know, some of the challenges she'd faced and uh, where she got her inspiration. And this week she's going to show off her fabulous, fabulous Yay. garment. Yeah, okay. Is there anything you want us to know before we see the photos? Well, I just want to Oh, I, oh sorry. no, no, I'm sorry. She meant you. She, she did mean you. <laughs> you know, I just want to thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity. And I want to thank Carol, um, you know, for being a, a, a awesome opponent um, <laughs> and wish wish her luck. And I just thank you guys. I really enjoy you. This actually made me push my creativity um, a little bit uh, away from my comfort zone. So I was pretty 
pretty excited about that. So thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. And that's what I wanted to say. No matter what the polls say, and I'm sure all of you out there who are actually going to be voting tonight, you're going to have a hard time because both of these ladies are truly talented. And to me, both of them are going to win this challenge. But, you know, we can only <laughs> have one. One winner, exactly. So just, the opportunity is wonderful. There's my Carol. Hey, Carol. <laughs> Um, okay. Carol, we're going to have you on as soon as we see Meryl, uh, Melanie's design, because unfortunately, even though we have four boxes, yes. one of them has to be reserved to show the pictures. So as soon as we're done with Melanie, then we're going to bring you on. We were going to have you on first and put you in the hot seat, but <laughs> now you get yes. to sit on back and, you know, <laughs> but, but um, yeah, you were speaking about, yeah, yeah, I you were see. talking about, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, just what you were talking about before, Myra, it's true. I was the uh, first loser on the So You Think You Can Go show, not. and I would do it a hundred times over. Um, Me too. I loved it. It pushed my creativity. I had a lot of fun. It, yeah, it's just a new fun experience. So, yeah, yeah you can't, honestly, you really can't if you don't win, it, you really can't yes. win. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. That is absolutely correct, Melanie. And that's what we want to tell you, right? It's so much fun. And like Melanie said, it pushes you to do something that you wouldn't normally do because she probably would have never picked up something like that for herself. No. I, mean, I probably would have never, I hardly ever work with trim at exactly. all, to be honest with you. So these challenges like this really push you. So there's nothing really to fear except the fact of uh, fearing yourself and being able to push yourself to do something creative. And I don't think anybody has a problem with that, to be honest with you. So everybody's a winner. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Uh, yes. Dawn. Melanie, would you like to tell us about your design? Maybe just uh, we did talk a bit about your inspiration and stuff. Maybe just kind of give us a broad picture before we have the big review. Yeah. Well, my design is actually an accessory. I call it an accessory, a belt, um, a peplum belt um, is what I call it. Um, it's just something to enhance so just an everyday outfit to give it a little pop flair. You know, you just want to pop it out and go. And it's it came out even better than I thought it would. Um, when I had my first vision of it, I was like, oh, that'll be cute. And I'm always looking for something to help hide some of my um, problems. So, <laughs> so I thought that would be, you know, that would be an awesome um, accessory. And it came out, came out really nice. I really enjoyed styling it up a little bit. And I can think of a thousand more ways to style it. So I'm really excited. Actually, me and hubby um, are going to a party on Friday night. And so I think I'm going to give it a twirl. Well, I tell you what, oh my gosh. You said you made yours an accessory, and I know you because I love your style. But we also have kind of similar styles. Yes, we And do. when you you said accessory and a, a belt, a peplum belt, oh, yeah, oops. And this girl said, uh-oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see this because, oh, my gosh, I know. I know it's going to be fabulous. I just know. Thank you so much. Oh, now did you have? Now that you, you know, you said she scurred. Now you said that you, um, you uh, thought in your head. Did you finally have? Did you have any challenges with pulling that final project together? Um, I did. First of all, um, I used a stretch denim. It's a, um, it's a dark stretch denim, and I didn't really compensate for the fact that it is a stretch denim at first. So when uh -huh. I initially made it, before I put the snaps on and I put the applique on, it was really too big. And I'm like, oh, oh. okay. So I had to readjust it right quick and, and bring it in a little bit. And it still was still stretchy. So it's like, oh, no. it's, a, it's a denim, it's a, a great stretch denim, but it's not a, a hard to explain not a spongy scratchy but it just uh -huh. didn't lay the way i wanted to so i had okay. to you know i had to adjust do a lot of adjusting to get it exactly how i wanted it to fall on my waist and finally um yesterday <laughs> i got exactly where i wanted it i, I like it a lot wow so i thought what? i was all done with it when i first made it but when i actually put it on with you know with the clothes i was um uh -huh styling it with it was a little too big so I was like oh man I have to take it in a little bit so that it'll lay correctly 
So did you um, actually Franken pattern this or did you um, use a pattern or is this just this no, your creation? I, 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 it's my creation. I saw a picture of it actually on Pinterest mm -hmm. um, and I just drew it out and went from there. I, you mm -hmm. know how I love OB belts and I, I only have oh, yeah. five of them. <laughs> 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 I pretty much use my OB belt as my um, as my not inspiration, but as my model. And then I just added uh -huh. to that. Oh my gosh. And you know how I love your OB belts. I was just talking to you about that <laughs> the other day. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Well, I was thinking maybe we'll put it up so everyone can see it and we could still ask you some more questions, but I do believe that Obi belts are called Obi belts and this belt might actually have to be called the Melanie now yes. because it is <laughs> epic. And Mel <laughs> Melanie, you can also pull yours over so we can see it if you have it there too. Oh, really? How do I do that? Just slide it over like you had it before. Oh, I think she, uh, she means move the mannequin beside you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or I actually got to move my seat. I took the wheels off the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, it sits just right. Oh my gosh, I love that. So it just unsnaps and it comes off, right? It snaps. Oh. And then it has three, three hooking eyes right here just to keep it tight and closed. And you just snap it back. Oh, you can, oh. you can wear it with or without it. Oh, that is amazing. Yep, we're going to have to call that the Melody, <laughs> the Melanie belt. Oh, my God, that is gorgeous. That is super and gorgeous. It's pinned up, so don't. Okay. My mannequin is a little bit smaller than the actual belt, a whole bunch smaller, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is gorgeous. I love that. And I can think of many options for me to wear that, too. <laughs> 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 well, Carol, you, might, you might get a Christmas present this year. Oh my, look at Not that. Carol, I mean. oh, oh, that is beautiful. Thank oh. You so much. oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And you said that's denim, right? Yes, it's um you see the other side of it, you'll see the, the denim. And it has has a little a little stretch to it. I just made a black pair of denim um jeans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to make yours a couple of sizes or more than a couple of sizes smaller. <laughs> Whatever. I don't yeah, think so. I'm I think it'll saying. fit. It'll <laughs> fit perfect. <laughs> it's going to fit perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank that you. is awesome. You did a wonderful job on that. that is absolutely. I would have never imagined that in my brain. I, oh, I just wouldn't. Thank you so much. That, that's gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I was curious how hard was it to just for anyone who's thinking about using a trim like this maybe who hasn't um but likes it because there um there are like different shapes in them i got them at m and j trims in the oh, states how cool is that one that's cool i love that mm -hmm. yeah there are different shapes and things how did you find uh attaching the snaps um I, was, like, I actually thought it would be a problem because the underside of this has almost like a rubber feel um to it so mm -hmm. i was like oh I don't think it looks like it's coated with something maybe uh -huh. i said i don't know if i'll be able to sew that but it it was no problem and then the needle went right through and wow. i sold i used the um the larger snap the larger um snaps instead of the little one so that it'll give uh -huh. it a little bit more support uh -huh. and it just pops right on and i absolutely love it with that dress that you have there oh my god it's gorgeous <laughs> oh that is and it beautiful. is nice that you can Put it over jeans too, just like a yeah, really neat way to. Because that's kind of my style out. when I'm when I'm going out mm -hmm. somewhere, me and I be going somewhere, is to put on some baggy, you know, some boyfriend jeans, some heels, and just something cute, a cute belt with uh -huh. a crisp white shirt and go. So yeah, that's, that's perfect. My, my go style. Oh, that oh, that is beautiful. You you did a fabulous job on that one. Now you said you finished. If I'm not mistaken, you said you just finished your revision or your um your alterations yesterday did you start on this did you start on this right away though 
Um, to be honest with you, um, I had the, the vision right away. Like I told you, mm -hmm. I went to sleep that night and then I started thinking about what I wanted to do. Then I played around on Pinterest and found kind of the idea. And then mm -hmm. I, I went ahead and um, made my pattern, but I kind of played around with it and I didn't get really serious about it to this past weekend. Um, okay. and that's, that's why yesterday I had to make the, uh, the necessary adjustments. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, you knocked it out of the ballpark. That's nice. That's really nice. It's, it is beautiful. I know. Now I understand. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Now I understand why you were very pleased. I am too. <laughs> it's too um, I think it's quite cool too because a lot of people when they see this um, and in the section it was in, it was kind of near a bunch of white ones, you know, looking kind of wedding dressy, mm -hmm. very fancy because it has a little blingy shine. You would think, you know, satin or I don't know, something like that. And then you took it and kind of spun it on its head. And it is yeah. very like with denim. And I think, yeah, I love when things like that happen. You have the juxtaposition of either two fabrics or textures or something. And you've done just that on, uh, with this. So it looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. So it is absolutely gorgeous. And I think if there were a lot of people in there, you put that out for sale, it would be gone. Oh, because, <laughs> because I would buy it. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice of you to say thank you. It's true. It's gorgeous. It truly is gorgeous. Wow. Um, yes, it's the melody belt. <laughs> um, we've got a lot of um, cheesy comments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love them in the love them in the, the comments are amazing. But I won't say who's saying certain things because yes. it goes on YouTube later. <laughs> but people are saying they might, might need flatter abs for that. Yeah. Um, I think, what, I I think this, this is. I think this is the ultimate disguiser myself. I, I think this would be does. fabulous. Is, Having is. a chubby day? Yay! <laughs> Cinch it in. I think that's great. Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, you, you gotta love the comments, though. I just want to tell. <laughs> I just want to tell Miss Faye. Maybe um, you should post your question down for Melanie down below. But since she has it there already, she wants to know, Melanie, if um, she could wear one of your Obi belts. Of course. Yeah, I think they're worth for everyone. Yes, they do. They are such, I mean, and just the patterns. You could take something as simple as a, um, as a body con dress or even, a, um, I like to see it, um, the, what do you call it? The, the dolman sleeve, kind of not fitted dresses, kind of huge, and then take an Obi belt to pull the cinch that waist in to give you some definition. It, uh -huh. They weren't wonderful. I've even seen them with, um, even worn over a leather jacket. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever. I was like, something I oh. would have never thought about. But you can do so much with them. It's, and uh -huh. just patterns, just taking something as simple as this plaid and making it just makes your outfit pop. Yeah, I saw, I think I saw. <laughs> and it's popping too. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think I saw the one that you have on with your black Obi belt, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I, 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 I love that one. I love that one. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where are we right now? Um, do I have any other questions? Oh, um, we, you already told us that you were inspired by something you saw on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And you told us about your challenges. Now, I have to ask. I guess I'm playing devil's advocate. Sorry. That's are, you are you worried? I am. I'm <laughs> always worried. Nobody wants to worry. I know Carol is awesome. <laughs> And I am, I'm also a gracious loser. Just, I'm just here to have fun. And Me too. Of course I want to win. I definitely want to win. <laughs> well, I can tell you by the looks of that, that shows you want to win for oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. But I know, sure. I don't know my girl, Carol, so I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, Carol. Carol's she's not gracious. <laughs> I believe you, Carol. Oh my well, well. Uh, I think Melanie, what we're going to do, just so we don't run out of time, because yeah. I want people to have a real good chance yes. to see both of these. Yes. Okay. Um, but just for one last second, in case yeah. somebody came late, this is um, Melanie's outfit. Um, she made the gorgeous peplum belt that will forever be known as the Melanie belt. Wow. wow. And and wow. yes, just have a look at that. And wow. then what we're going to do is we're going to have um, 
Melanie pop off for a second, have Carol on, and we'll uh, ask Carol some questions and show her garment. And then we're going to have both ladies on, and I imagine <laughs> that's when we'll start getting fun in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see well, you not shortly. Lying, we'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. Don't go away. Yeah. And then we just need to grab Carol. That was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful idea and a beautiful uh, result she got too. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Hey, Miss Beautiful, how are you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at me. I am you, doing just fine because I'm back home. You, I was going to say, liar, liar, liar. You're probably about ready to fall over because Myra knows <laughs> that you were going to tell him in California this morning. <laughs> and, and what were you doing last night? Sewing up all night. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> Until you. <t> <laughs> Message me this morning, buy something, fix something like that. And still, she's just finishing up and getting ready to catch a flight back. Can you right. believe that, you guys? Thank you. Let's give her an applause for her dedication to our show. <laughs> That's commitment. But you look absolutely ravishing. You don't look like you're tired at all. That's because I slept all the way home. <laughs> 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 the man sitting next to me was like, uh, you didn't say two words. And I was like, and I'm glad you didn't wake me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that is just awesome. Well, we appreciate you doing that for us. We really do more than you will ever know. But we thank you. So we're excited to show yours and see what you've done for us, too. But we have some questions for you, don't we, Don? All right, I'm ready. Yes. I got the um, wild hair here. I'm having an issue with that right there. Okay. <laughs> we can't see it. Yeah, yeah, look, I just uh, made it worse. Okay, wait. Okay, <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm good. There you okay. go. There you go. <laughs> Yes, um, we, you couldn't make it to the show last week, um, all, and although you did do a little video for people, um, the people on, who come to Crowdcast might not have seen it, so we'll just ask you a couple of those questions, like, you know, what inspired you um, to make your design? Okay, originally, <laughs> I had a project in mind. I was going to make some beautiful palazzo pants with a blinged out waistband. But I got a phone call on Friday saying, we need you in California on Sunday. So that totally smacked my project. So I was like, well, well oh my goodness, I'm not going to have time to do this because I really wanted to do some hand beating and that kind of thing. And I said, what the heck am I going to do? So I went to Joanne that night to take back my project and see what I could do. And this fabric said, pow! And I was like, come on with me to California, fabric. Every night, me and you have a date. So I came home with this fabric and uh, uh, packed it up and packed all my stuff up. And this was on Saturday. Packed everything up. And uh, early Sunday morning, I was out of here. Well, you know, I actually heard you mention that before on another show. I think you were on a show, um, not for this particular um, project that we're running right now, but mm -hmm. something else you were on the show for. And you mentioned that you sometimes take your sewing machine with you when you yes, go. Yes, I do. You know, I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. <laughs> I, think yes, I've I, do. I will wow. take my sewing machine with me uh, if I'm going to be gone a few days because. I'm one of them people that when I'm away from home, I don't sleep very well. So uh -huh. I need something to do and TV just does not cut it for me. You know, when you're in a foreign land, you have no idea what <laughs> channels, you know, and then I'm 
I watch, you know, local TV and I don't see the, you know, the same people delivering the weather, you know, and they're like, yeah. it's going to be a hundred degrees tomorrow. And I'm like, wait a minute, it was snowing when I left. So I, I get <laughs> that kind of stuff really kind of confuses me. So I'm not real good with television and I don't know what channels are the pay channels and I'm not trying to have incidentals when I leave. So I leave <laughs> the television off when I'm in a hotel room. So I bring my um, sewing machine with me. Sometimes I'll bring patterns to cut or fabric to cut out but since i had knew that i had to do the whole project i brought everything with me and so if you guys have been watching facebook or instagram you will know that me and my darling were separated because my sewing machine wouldn't fit in the overhead bin compartments and i'm like oh, wait no. a minute i just flew three months ago when did this get smaller? So, you know, I was getting ready to have wow. a fit. And, and somebody responded that the newer planes, the overhead bins are smaller. So when I got on the plane today, I looked, I was like, they're way smaller than they used to be. Wow. It wouldn't fit underneath, nor would it fit in the top. And the lady was like, we're going to have to check that. And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, I was like standing in front of it like this. You said, don't touch my stomach. Don't. <laughs> so they had to check it. And luckily, it was one of the last bags in, one of the first ones out. So it didn't get tossed in and it wasn't treated terribly okay. by the okay, loading yeah. guys. So she's, yeah. she's fine. And she's my older machine. So I was really worried. I was like, oh, is that going to make the trip? <laughs> wow. Oh my and gosh. On my way home, I had a layover in Phoenix, Arizona. So I was worried about the transfer, but it's fine. Oh, so good. good. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That was, I agree, Elizabeth. That was nerve wracking. I can't imagine. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you, I think it's... we appreciate that. We really do. Mm. Thank you. Your sewing machines probably traveled more than some people. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, now, okay. she answered the question, did she start right away? We understand. <laughs> no, she didn't <laughs> because she got stuck a little bit there. Yeah. Um, are you, um, I guess what I'd like to ask, what was your, well, your inspiration, you already told us what your inspiration was. So it took a, an immediate, turn but for the new project did you have some other inspiration or were you inspired by the fabric you saw it was the fabric when i saw the fabric i was like <laughs> 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 then the big heart formed around my head and I, was like, I'm gonna, I love this so I, I got the fabric and i just i was a happy camper because i was disappointed when i literally was on the phone for uh you know with the people like california i was getting ready to tell them no my husband was in the back doing the get the money dance and i was like yeah i can go so i was like well <laughs> so i'm like okay well i guess i gotta go and i'm not gonna be able to be you know because i'm always blessed with the crying kids on the five hour flights so, oh, goodness. and I usually don't get any sleep before I'm, so there's no way I was going to be able to do what I originally planned, but I was so glad. And let me tell you when it's fabric hit me, I was, I was totally gobsmacked, ready to throw in the towel and on my way out the fabric store and some bolts fell, the, some bolts fell behind me on the floor. And when I turned around and saw the stuff on the floor, my immediate reaction is like, yeah, right. Y'all better get somebody to work here. So that's what I was selling <laughs> fabric bolts on the floor. And when I looked up, I saw this fabric and it was like, oh, oh. <laughs> well, you know, there was someone throwing that intervention out there and to keep you from walking out that door. <laughs> yeah. you know, we all know who that was, it don't was, we? It was the hand. It was the hand. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hand has been finding me quite often lately, and I'm so glad <laughs> it found me that day. Because I was just like, oh my God, I know Melody is over there franking it up, something. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to California, and I got to say, Keith, Keith is doing the money dance, and I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? 
So I actually <laughs> prevailed. I'm excited. I, I love. I do love my Garmin. I really do. I love. Okay. It. With that. With that said, without further ado, I guess it's time for us to pull up the picture and have her pull it over and show us everything. Ready? Okay. Do you want me to turn around now? Sure. Oops. Okay. There's wow. a. Wow. Up. <gasps> and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, is that Wait, too there cute? Is. There she there. is. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. Uh, and you know, I here's something that I noticed, and that is absolutely gorgeous. But what I noticed is that people are sticking to their aesthetic design and their styles. <laughs> and I, I noticed that with um, Melanie, and I noticed it with you too. And I love the style, and I love that everybody is being true to themselves and who they are when they make something. That is gorgeous, Carol. I mean, it is gorgeous. You want to tell us a little about it? Because um, can you? I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the one behind you, but Dawn, just for a minute, can you bring up the picture, the photo? What is um, what is the what is that? The alligator? That's like looking? an alligator. It's like a uh, performance fabric. It's silver foil. And I just thought some bling on the inside <laughs> would be really cool. Um, uh -huh. And it's actually a sweater. It's not a jacket. So the applique uh -huh. has, is closed. The whole jacket is closed. You just put it on over your head. So okay. that's just a little oh. fun inside, just the you know, just there for me. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay, I was looking. I was like, I was trying to figure if that was the lining or. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the lining. It's the okay. lining. Oh, it's exactly. like your Superman Clark Kent thing. You know? There you, you go. Clark Kent, it's but my, you know, your Superwoman on the inside. Wow. Right, my secret blingity bling. You know how you always have to have a little secret something on the inside of your garments. So I thought okay. that would be a fun. Uh, I thought that would be a little fun addition. And then also, too, it's in there. It's actually a um, a jacket. It's a stay. It's uh -huh. not My garment's not completely lined. That piece of fabric is only stretchy one way. It's not stretchy for the gray line. So I don't mm -hmm. want this to stretch out of shape. So I added that okay. to put some stabilization in the shoulders and in the back. Oh my gosh, you ladies worked it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, thank God I don't have to vote. <laughs> 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 Woo. Oh my gosh, that is really, now I have to ask you, other than the fact that you were sewing all night, did you have any other challenges, <laughs> challenges with this? You know, let me tell you, the biggest challenge was when I was ready to uh, I was trying to decide, should I use it as a snap closure and, and make it a jacket, or should I go ahead and close it up and make it a sweater? Because I'm like, mm -hmm. if I make it a sweater, I can't take it off, and then the insides, you know, then people can't see the insides, like if it's hanging on a chair or whatever. Mm -hmm. then, I was, then I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and make it a sweater and mm -hmm. close up the front. So the, the big challenge was... This morning when I got ready to put the applique on, uh -huh. it was hard to pin because the beads are so, or they're so close together. So uh -huh. I didn't have any tape or anything. So I really had to be innovative of, of you know, holding it in one spot. And I uh -huh. was crazy sleepy. And those beads are glass. So I really had to do some slow sewing in order uh -huh. to get it was right and then it lined up correctly and uh -huh. you know I don't want my needle to bust any of those glass beads oh, so oh, yeah. I was super sleepy uh, I took a <laughs> swig of Arizona mango and that gave me a little <laughs> bit of jolt you know a little bit of wake up um, wow. but I you know that was the most and then another thing that you guys probably can't see uh, this is like mohair so it's really hairy it's a very oh. hairy sweater so I'm gonna try to see if I can get. Yeah, I was gonna up. say, can we get? Oh, uh, do I? Oh no, the fabrics are in the other room. I was gonna say if I had a piece of scrap, but let me tell you what that uh, that hotel room is so doggone hairy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's <water> everywhere. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she <laughs> loves it. Oh, yeah. yeah. A picture of the fabric. Oh, it's, yes. It's very wow. hairy. And you can see how hairy it is. So the fabric itself was a bit of a challenge to work with, you know, for a last minute project. But I figured uh -huh. I got it in. And, you know, it's getting ready to get really cold here in Chicago. So I found out I need some real work clothes because when I went to California, I was actually in a meeting with jeans on. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to call some clothes stuff. And I got on jeans. <laughs> so this is how I need to look when I go to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so That's this beautiful. is actually what I made it. Uh, I made it to wear to work because I like a little bit of bling in my clothes. Uh, when I'm at work, so I don't look so officey and so boring, and it just kind of adds to my personality, you know, when yeah. people see me with the the shiny, fun, blingy stuff. I think that's why I like it so much. Well, I can I could totally see it with jeans too. I don't know if that's what you're gonna say. Yeah, like yeah, I can see it. I can do it work. with jeans. I can do it with plain black pants. I can do it with stretch yeah. stretch pants. So it's pretty versatile. And uh, I just like the the little blingity bling. And then the the what my real inspiration was is the bling is the same shape as the shapes that are on the fabric. That's what I was getting yeah. ready to say. Is I noticed that with the, the diamonds, diamonds, yeah. Mm -hmm. that. And that's what that's what got me in the store when I had my aha heart moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look like they look like the applique. Like like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they oh, well, look, you guys got to see the um, you guys got to see the back. The back is kind of cool. You see all the little diamonds oh, on wow. the back. Oh, yeah. So I thought that was yeah. pretty cool with the with the diamond on the front. I was like, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. It looks just like the applique. So that yeah, was, it looks like they were intended to be together. Right. Yeah. Wow, that is fabulous. That is fabulous. Wow. And you can Ooh, see you the bling. Bling, oh. bling. bling, yeah. Bling. <laughs> <laughs> Love that bling. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's awesome. I mean, you did a wonderful job. Wonderful job with it. Well, what do you think, Miss Dawn? Did, did these ladies do it or didn't they? Uh, I don't, I was nothing, I don't know what I expected, but yeah. it is so much more, so much more. They're like two completely different pieces. Yeah. Uh, print, no print, uh, different fabrics, different textures, yeah. but yeah. both are very, very versatile. You can get two more different things, but then you could wear both with jeans, uh, turtlenecks, mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. you know, um, dresses that, yeah, I just think you ladies, you just put the bar up so high. Um, yeah. Amazing job, Carol. Fantastic. I knew you'd bring it, as they say. And <laughs> it so did. Yes, you did. Am I going to sleep well? <laughs> yeah, no. And just so you know, I can wear that with leggings. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so can I, Myra. So can I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that so is I just gorgeous. got one question for you guys. Do you uh, think we can sew? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hell yeah. I think so. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Apparently, you guys can sew on no sleep <laughs> uh, under you know crazy circumstances and still beautifully so. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes, 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 and yes. <laughs> you can sew. Like I said, I'm so glad I don't have to vote. <laughs> I am so happy because <laughs> I'd have to take a step in the other direction. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You guys both yes. knocked it out of the park. You really, really did. Now, I think because um, we are getting, we're getting close to the time, so what I would like to do is um, we, if we could bring Melanie, Melanie back on, and it looks like we have some questions down there. You want to do that? Or, you yep. Yep. Else? or do you have something else for Ms. Carol? No, I was just going to quickly show the pictures one more time because I yeah. saw someone in the comments miss seeing them both. And then, because I can't show any other photos once I get all okay. of this on the right. screen. So, um, yeah, just super quick. And if someone comes after this, they can just look at the ones on the mannequin. Uh, so this was Carol's again. Um, Carol rocks. Gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and then this one is... Uh, Melanie's and here she is wearing the jeans there and she also gave us this one too yes and I should make that big too yep there we go yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, those are gorgeous pieces. That is so cute. Oh my God. Both of them. Both of them are cute. Both of them. Oh, both, they're... both of them would sell in a store in a minute in a heartbeat. Both of them. Oh, yeah. They yeah. can't have mine. Mine's got blood and sweat on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> and I know the lady that vacuumed up that room got some tears. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that would be worth taking your 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 sewing machine on an airplane if you have to do a project when it's fuzzy like that because you end up having in between the floorboards pink fuzz everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to go to a hotel and sew for a night and leave it all there. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. She left a nice little gift for the kid, the housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buzz Erwer. <laughs> well, Miss Carol, I hope you're not going back to that same hotel anytime soon because they probably got your name posted somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So, okay. ladies, do you have anything? Would you take a second to tell each other what you think of each other's design? Yeah. I absolutely mm -hmm. love yours, Carol. I really did. I think you did an awesome job. I love the placement. Of the applique, I love the fabric. The fabric is everything. I couldn't wear it here in Florida. I'd probably burn it. <laughs> right. I it. If I was up north, I'd have it on, like what Myra said, with some cute little tights on and some yep. sexy boots. Yep, you betcha. <laughs> I love, I love hers. I love it. It's y'all saw my comment. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble now. Uh oh. I'm in trouble now. There's no way I would have thought of doing a detachable yeah. peplum. And I love how she has the placement right in the front in yeah. the front there. And then you can take it off and put it on different um garments, you know, different outfits and stuff. That's adorable. So I make yeah. happy that. You might see that on <laughs> 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 I know. I love it. <laughs> well, you you guys are saying that. I have a feeling you may have started something, both of you, because I love both of them, and I might copy them too. <laughs> now we do have some questions for the up uh, for them down below. Uh oh. Who's this? The first one, Crystal Collins says, very pretty. Can you zoom in more? I think we did that already, didn't we? Dawn? Yes, I, I think we did. Um, Crystal, if uh, you're missing out, we will also put the photos, as long as the ladies have no objections, on the So You Think You Can Sew Facebook page, um, because it would be fantastic for people to be able to see them offline as well. Yes. Um, so... <laughs> That's that one. And then uh, Faye, Linda Faye Lewis said, can we just have two winners? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Technically, they're both winners. Yes. Yeah. It's just, yeah, just because of who they are yes. and the talents they have. They're, yeah, they're exceptional ladies and we're thrilled to have them on here. But unfortunately, no. <laughs> okay. And, um, Miss Faye again, she asked, Carol, did you use a pattern for your design? And if so, which one did you use? Good question, because we asked that same thing of melanin. We didn't of Carol. Sorry. Yes, I did. And let me tell you what, it's a, <laughs> it's a burden <laughs> pattern. Uh, and I don't remember the number uh, because I was so frazzled uh when i saw the fabric and i bought the fabric i was actually walking around with a berta kimono type uh and then when i when i really was like i know what i'm gonna do i just took that pattern and like kind of flung it over my shoulder <laughs> and it was like no i'm not doing that i got one at home but i know it's a, a berta pattern and the girl has on a blue on the envelope oh, she I has. I made that one. one. I know exactly which one it is. You know what I'm talking that. about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was in the fabric mark, the fabric mark challenge, and I uh, fabricista. Are oh, you I right? Right. That pattern to make my um to make my duster. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a really good pattern. It's a really cool, really cool pattern. 
Yeah, it's a really nice pattern. So I was like, that's what I'll do with it. And another thing that I liked about that pattern is you can see how the neckline is open all the way to the bottom. So I was mm -hmm. like, that'll be perfect for me to put the applique right there in the middle and just turn it into a sweater. And I so like it's how you it originally the up. exactly because I think right. the pattern itself is open. That's pretty cool. It's open. Yeah. So yeah, I closed wow. mine up like a sweater. I wanted a sweater. Wow. So uh, Miss Faye, um, I can put the um I'll post the number because I don't know the number offhand. It's still in my um luggage. And when I came to the house, I was like, get the laptop. Get the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still back there in the back in my tornado of stuff I was running in the house trying to get everything together. So I'll post the pattern number. Okay. Great question, uh, Miss Faye. Thank you for that. I was wondering if there's anything that you ladies would change for next time. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think I'll change anything. I think I'd do the same thing. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I enjoyed doing mine. Uh, you know, next time somebody call me and say, "Could you go to California tomorrow?" I'm gonna tell them no. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I'll go in your place. <laughs> 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 I go in your place. Love California. You know, and I might even put in the hell no, hell no. <laughs> That's the only thing I would change. Is you know, if I had some more time. You know, I I still have more of this fabric. I want to make some sweater leggings to go with it, and uh, and I got the blingity bling elastic. You know, I like the blingity bling elastic. And uh, I'm going to a party on Sunday, and I'll probably make the leggings and wear this to oh, the party on Sunday. Oh, yeah, really I got some really cool black uh, peep toe boots that will be really cool with that. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you, you guys did it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then some. Oh my goodness. And the styling is just beautiful. I love mm. The styling is just gorgeous. They, I mean, they are ready to put in the. Sh I know Carol said hers not for sale, but they're ready. <laughs> to, yeah, they're ready to put it in, sh in that showroom I floor. Think, I think my arm right. can twist it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna be banned from the Holiday Inn by all of the fuzz I left on the floor. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. keep this one for that sacrifice. I <laughs> right. Well, I, have, I have another question for you, ladies. If we had decided this is our first show of uh, So You Think You Can Sew, and we were actually thinking about possibly, you know, making it annual. Um, if you guys had to give your advice or say something about your experience to people who may be thinking about doing it or if we should continue the show, I'd like to hear a little bit from each of you what you think, what your advice would be to people who may think about coming on the show and how you felt and what you think about continuing as an annual show. You go first. Okay. Um, I love the format. <laughs> um, I love that you're given the opportunity. You, you, you're given a week to, you know, to formalize and get things done. So I love the format. Of, um, I don't know that I um, that I change anything. I, I love the way, um, you know, with it being the first competition anyway. I think um, I don't know if I change anything. I like the format. I felt I didn't feel I didn't feel super pressured. Um, okay. I love I love the fact that you know we got the mystery item. Like I said, that pushed me. That made me think. Um, and go deep into my, you know, my design aesthetic and find out what what I would do with that. I like, like um, Don said, I would never go to a store, a fabric store, and pick up an applique and just say, you know, I'm going to make something today. That's just <laughs> that's just not how I think. But uh -huh. um, I have used them before to make, you know, prom dresses and things like that. But I've never used them personally for myself. So it was pretty cool. I like the, I love the format of the show. I think anybody who um, who comes on the show would enjoy it immensely, would love it. And okay. it's all, you know, it's all in fun, all, all in love. Great, Thanks thank you. Me. Thank you. I feel yeah. the same way. I think the format, the way the show is set up is good. Uh, I totally enjoyed the opening of the, um, the opening of the applique because, and, for the next people, 
you really got to be ready because you don't know what kind of wrench is going to be thrown in your daily life. <laughs> you know, I, never, I just knew it was going to be fabric. That's what I said. And then when it looked right. like a chain, I was Here's like, Here's me. I'm like, Oh, yeah, I got time. I can <laughs> ahead and to get these beads together i'm gonna blow melody's mind then i got a phone call and my whole life changed so you <laughs> have to be ready um and you really got to think about what it is yeah. you want because if that if i hadn't knocked over those bolts of fabric and <laughs> and, and turned my eye i wouldn't have never saw this yeah. Mm -hmm. and and thought you know wow that those appliques look just those triangles look just like the applique i would have just kind of been oh, out the store totally <laughs> defeated yeah. i was like defeated <laughs> i was oh, like my. oh man so and i have my best friend lives in california and carl was like I need you to help me i got an accountant deadline i got this i got that and i was like man i got a garment to sew <laughs> I'll see you next time or I'll call you when I get home. Okay. We can't play. Yeah, you know, you you really do have to take yeah. it seriously. Yeah. So take it seriously and um you're never gonna know what kind of wrench is thrown in the program. So when you think about your garment and you think about it seriously, then you can sit down and get it done. And then, yeah. you know, you still have the pressure of the competition. You know, I'm, I'm like, man, I can't have <laughs> Melanie is too good for me to. to <laughs> oh, you know what, Carol? Melanie. If I if I have yeah, to I lose to anyone, that. it might as well be. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so my husband was like, "So who's this Melanie?" I was like, <laughs> "Every time she posts something, I want it, so I can't yes, play." Me too. <laughs> Both you guys. Okay. Uh, that is so wow. same thing, Carol. You know, I have always adored you for a very long time. For a very long time. I, and I, I'm, I'm still trying to get that out that that blouse from a year ago. I'm not going <laughs> to. And her shoes. Don't forget her shoes. Yes. Uh, all the, I have all the shoes. I want all the shoes. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Oh, my you know, gosh. You know how to make somebody feel good. Thank you. Well, I but tell it you, was a we, fun process. It was yes, fun. It was, it was fun. fun. I enjoyed well, it. A lot. Well, thank you guys for being our first contestants on this show, uh, for this show. We really appreciate it. And you really knocked it out of the park for us. I mean, you did exactly what we were hoping it was going to be. So applause to you. They're both of you for what you've done. Now, as far as storing a wrench in, we still have two more months. <laughs> and uh, yeah. so you never know what could happen. Exactly. So I've okay. put the poll questions down below. Uh, so anyone watching on Crowdcast, only watching live on Crowdcast, you can now go down and vote. So if you look down in the bottom bar, there'll be uh, polls. It'll say polls, and there'll be a little number three beside it because there are three questions. Some people were answering some of them before I was finished, so you might have to go down and answer the few that you missed. Um, yeah, so you just click on that, and then you click on your favorite It'll have questions like, who used the mystery trim best? Uh, which design did you like best overall? And which garment has the best construction? I'm um, yes, so <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you look at which garment has the best construction. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they pretty much say, I ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> probably tell that the voting is live yeah. <laughs> they're watching it as it happens we will give it another uh 
five minutes or so, yeah. um, just so everyone who's here has a chance to vote because we don't want anyone to miss out. Yeah. Um, but they can kind of see it happening live. So, you know, if you're watching the replay, you're like, what are they talking about? It's because they can see what's going on. Right. <laughs> um, and we will do the same things for future competitions. Um, next month, for example, when we have Elizabeth and Cheryl on the show, um, on the the third week of that one, they'll also be voting, and then the winner of this show will go up against the winner of them in December. So okay. it's very exciting. So, but the polls only, sorry, for the people um, who are watching the show live. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah, if you go to the, remember that Facebook's, uh, that Sewing Blabs Facebook page, you can see that, that um, the, uh, the pinned post, and it'll tell you when the voting's on and when everyone's on. So you can check that out on our schedule in case you're worried you're going to miss the voting. Yeah, Elizabeth, so yeah, I, that's going to yeah. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one so, was fabulous. I know. This one was yeah. definitely fabulous. Okay. So three minutes till the show's over, maybe give it uh, one more minute. So everyone, if you have not voted, click on the poll button, yep. go down there, answer those three questions, and then we will have our winner. But as we said before, quite honestly, these are both, both winners. super talented yes. ladies. I mean, and stylish too. Like yes. they really, yeah, they yeah. set the bar high and yeah. we knew they would because they're amazing. So, <laughs> so we're so thankful that you guys could come on and, you know, you took a chance, really. I mean, you, when you put yourself out there yeah. online, there's always, you know, people who might take pop shots or you might <laughs> feel judged, but you ladies are not. I mean, mm -hmm. you're amazing. And we can't thank you enough for taking a chance on us. Well, they took pot shots at each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's part of the competition. Uh, Elizabeth, and what is the other girl's name again? Cheryl. Cheryl. Uh -huh. Cheryl. Bring your trash games, baby. Carol <laughs> <laughs> you know, had me over there in the corner like this for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wow. Right now, I'm the rope -a dope I'm on the rope. <laughs> 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 I'm on the oh, rope. My <laughs> so, if okay. we open up the polls um, right now, and uh, just looking, so voting is now officially closed. Who used the mystery term best? Uh, Melanie, nine votes. Carol, four votes. So that's one point for Melanie. Which design did you like best overall? Melanie had 11 votes. Carol had five. So that's two points for Melanie. And then the last one, which garment has the best construction? And Melanie, five votes, and Carol, ten votes. Who worked? <laughs> Carol worked her butt off. Yeah. Did you get a half point just for sewing, you know, on, on when you're on, on a plane? On a plane, I know, right? I know, I know. My girl, I know. My girl did her thing. Yes, she did. Yes, she, yes, she did. <laughs> you both did. You both did. So thank you. So our, First official winner is Melanie Awai. So thank you, Melanie. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate everything. I am very humbled. Thank you. And Carol, you are still the bomb, my girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, did we lose her? I think she's frozen. <laughs> Well, you, both of you ladies are fabulous. I mean, both of you really did a wonderful job. And I tell you, I could, we cannot thank you enough for being our first guest on this competition because you set the trend and the mode for the rest of the competition. So thank, thank you. you. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is awesome. And I'm sorry we lost Miss Carol. I'm not sure what happened. I know. I know she mentioned earlier when she got on that she had problems yeah. moving her laptop. So, but Miss Carol, we love you too. We love you. <laughs> and so. yeah, we look forward to seeing what else she creates because she is a fabulous source. Yes. Oh, oh, yep, she's officially gone now. <laughs> oh, <we're real. laughs> oh no! Oh, I think she's uh, trying to reconnect. Yes. Yeah, so, Melody, are you ready for? Uh, I guess December yeah. coming back in the beginning ready. of December. I am ready. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. I okay. Am. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. Oh yeah, it's it, especially having you there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thank you again, you ladies. Uh, Don, do you have anything else? 
Uh, yes, but I need one second. So Okay, <laughs> well, while you're doing that, I do have um, just a couple of things that I want to say in the news. We still have over at So Much Talent the um, project for this uh, month. It looks like Carol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carol. Her, her laptop got gobsmacked. That's the first time I heard that one. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, we almost had her back. <laughs> well, um, uh, we do, as far as the news um, that's going on, uh, hey, there she is. As far as the news going on, our, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as our news going in our sewing community, we still have um, the challenge over there. I think it's called the memory quilt. It's so much talent. Those ladies over there are still working on it till the end of the month. Um, but I did want to bring um, something to the attention of some of the folks, if they've not heard about it already, is there's um, hashtag the red dress project is going on. Um, and that's actually going to wrap up and end in December. But if you want to know more about that, you can actually, it's being hosted by um, Renata of uh, Running in Style, Running in Style and, yeah. and Rosa from Song. And if you want to run over to uh, Running in Style, her blog or her YouTube channel, she's actually posted all of the regulations and the rules for the Red Dress Project. I think I'm going to join that one too. But I just. I just wanted to let people know that because um, I could use a red dress. <laughs> <laughs> use a red dress yeah. <laughs> so, Don, do you have any news that you want to share too? Yes, sorry about that. It took me a second. Um, okay. I was going to show the pictures and then I just remembered that I can't do because there's four. Um, but yes, yeah, so next week we're taking a break from the So You Think You Can Sew competition. Um, and be because we do three of the shows every month, and this month just happens to have more weeks than we can film. So <laughs> we are going to have a guest that we're going to interview. It is Kelly, and I think it's called Sukoni. I, I, sometimes I don't pronounce names right. It's a fatal flaw of mine. <laughs> and she is, if you look on her Instagram, she says she's a butcher, baker, costume maker, wow. bespoke creations. Um, she is pretty fabulous. I asked her on the show. Um, because she does um, some cosplay outfits as well. Mm -hmm. She um, even has patterns from the calls. She does some corsets and other things. She's done work in movies and film, wow. and um, she's just generally yeah. entirely impressive. So I'm very excited about her coming on next week, and I hope you guys will join us. Yeah. And then remember, we have uh, Halloween off yep. for all those doorbells ringing, <laughs> and then the uh, the next week, we will start back up with the fabulous next contestants, Elizabeth Farr, who was in our comments tonight, and yep. I think I saw Cheryl, yep. Cheryl Belden as well. Yep. So, yes, two more talented ladies, and yeah, that's it for me. Sorry, Myra, I lost my place there. In the no, 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 finals. you were perfect. You were perfect. And thanks to Myra. I will tell her enough. I'm going to say it here in front of everyone, Myra, you're fabulous. Thank you. Oh, my God. So are you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure working thanks with you. Thanks for coming on, ladies. Thanks for watching, everyone. All right. Thanks again. Bye. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. You know I love you. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll see you all next week, Tuesday, on that Sewing Blab. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.